Hello. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean and style feathers that I find outside to use in my artwork. Now, before we get into the cleaning process, I just want to take a moment to talk about the Bird Migratory Treaty Act. And this is a law in the United States, and it applies to feathers found in North America, where if you find a feather and it comes from a bird that's on the protected list, you're not allowed to own that feather. So out of respect for the law, as well as protecting these birds, if you find a feather that qualifies to be on this list, or if you're unsure if the feather qualifies on this list, then I suggest you just take a photo of it. And this way you can start your own collection of photos of different feathers. If you find a feather that isn't on the list, the one that you can collect, well, this video is for you. So now the first thing to know about feathers is they're made from keratin, the same thing that makes our fingernails. So they can be washed and cleaned. Now, feathers can contain parasites and mites and bacteria. So we have to really make sure that we clean them because if you take a feather with any of those things into your home, well, now those things have a home too. So the first thing you wanna do is remove any parasites. Then after that, we'll clean the feather, sanitize it, and then style it. And let me show you my procedure. So here's a feather that I found outside. Now you can see it's not in the greatest of shape, but it's still a beautiful feather and I could use this in my work. So the first thing you wanna do is take your feather and put it in a plastic bag, like a little Ziploc bag, and you wanna seal it. You wanna make sure it's sealed. And then you put this in the freezer for 48 hours and you wanna make sure the freezer is cold. So don't use like a beverage freezer, use an actual freezer. From there, you'll take it out, remove it from the freezer for 24 hours, and then after those 24 hours, you'll put it back in the freezer for another 48 hours. And so for doing this, you're trying to remove all parasites. So freezing it, letting it thaw, and refreezing it does a fairly good job of that. Now you, after it's done, you wanna sterilize it. So this has been in the freezer, as has this one. So now I have two feathers that have gone through the freezing, thawing, and freezing process again. And now I wanna sterilize them. So what I like to do is take equal parts of isopropyl alcohol and hydrogen peroxide, and I just mix them in a container. Some people use strictly the alcohol, and you can do whichever works for you. I like to blend them both. So I just mix equal parts and I just eyeball it. And then I take my feathers and I put them right in this mixture. And I'll just move them around, swish them around gently, and then I'll just let them sit there for 30 minutes and soak. And they'll get a very good soaking that way. And this will sanitize them. So I let that soak for 30 minutes. So now my feathers have been soaking for at least 30 minutes. It's been a little bit longer. So you can soak as many feathers as you can fit in your solution, as long as it really soaks. There's no feather part sticking up. And then what I do is I just like to, you know, swish them around a little further just to get any debris off of them that might remain. And then from here, I have two buckets. This one's just an empty bucket, the same size as the first. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in there so you could see. And then this one already has water. And I have a nice bucket for clean water. And then I have this water here where I'm gonna actually clean the feathers. And I just have a little dish detergent. I only need a little bit, and I'll swish that around. And then I can take my feather that I've swished around again and just soak it right in that dish detergent water. Now I'll do the same thing with that second feather and put that in there. Now I'll get rid of that alcohol solution for now, and we'll just work on cleaning our feathers. Now there is a gentle art to cleaning the feathers. You want to make sure that the feathers are flowing freely, just like you see here, and then I just gently rub them in the direction of the growth of the feather. And you rub it really gently, like you're petting a cat. And when it feels clear, there's no bumps, you're not feeling anything, I swish it around again, and then I take it to my clear water and swish it again. And if I hold it down, that feather does interesting things in the water, and it's very pretty. I can see there's something stuck on the feather here, so I'll try and just work it off. And then I'll just take my feather out from the water, 
swishing it around as many times as I want just to make sure it's nicely rinsed. And then I'll set it on a paper towel. Now the feather tightens up. All the little strands of that feather go together. So I can set it down either way. And I take another dry paper towel and I just press it. And I'm trying to absorb that water, but I'm not trying to ruffle the feather. Now from there, I just take a toothbrush and I hold down the end of the feather and I just stroke the feather here, just like you're combing wet hair. And it removes just a little bit more of that water. And then I'll just gently take my time and ease the feathers apart, just going nice and gentle. Now this feather is still wet and still damp, but it's starting to get a nice shape. So since I only have two feathers to do, I'll take this next feather, and I'll speed this process along, and I'll do the same thing again to get it to that stage. Now this feather wasn't in as good a shape as the other feather, and I could feel a little bit of rough texture on this part here, so I'm just gonna continue to clean it and stroke it until it feels cleaner. And I'll do this as many times as I need to to get that feather clean. So now I'm at a point where the feathers are still damp. They're not really wet, but they're still damp, but I brush them out. So at this point, you can let them just air dry as they are, or I like to take just a hair dryer and I'll blow dry the feather until it's completely dry. Now I'm careful to have the air directed the length of the feather, the way the feathers are actually going, and then I can just brush it a little further to get the shape that I want. I'll do the same thing with this. Then I'll brush out my feather again. And because this feather is longer, it required more blow drying time. But again, I can always just leave it to dry, air dry. Now, if I want the feather to be a little more pristine, this one I really like the way it looks, I can always put it between two sheets of parchment and iron it with a warm iron, and that will give it a nice shape as well. So now your feathers are dry and clean, and they're ready to be used in your work. Now, if you don't want to use a real feather in your work for any reason whatsoever, you can always stitch one, and I have a video on that, and I'll include the link down below. You do have additional options, however. You can always paint one, or you can make one out of paper. And if you'd like to see a video on any of these techniques, just comment down below. So that's how I clean and sterilize my found feathers so that I can use them in my artwork. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.